All right, it's a little late where I'm at, and I probably should be sleeping right now, so my apologies in advance if I don't sound as lucid speaking as I think I do, and that comes across to you when you're listening to this. However, I wanted to get this out there as quickly as possible and point out a very clear and obvious example of something that I've been pointing out in various other contexts for a while now regarding the distribution of intentional pre-calculated disinformation on the internet. I'm sure all of you listening to this heard about the shooting that took place in Nashville, Tennessee in the United States of America today, or yesterday, on March 28th, 2023. I just so happened to be on my computer around the time that this news broke, and almost instantaneously on 4chan and Reddit in particular, this meme started being spammed everywhere that I have on the screen here. Why does the Nashville shooter have Puma shoes on in the security cam footage and Vans on in the body cam footage? Before I get to analyzing this, let me just say, I have no idea what happened at this school. I wasn't there. I can only rely on all of the information that's provided by every outlet or organization that has access to information about this. I'm at the mercy of them like everyone else. I don't have any kind of special insight into what transpired. I have no idea what happened. But having said that, what I do know is the internet and how propaganda operates on the internet. And we can see here in this image a great example of disingenuous pre-calculated disinformation. And I will explain what I mean. On the left here, they have a picture of this Puma shoe, and they point to this security cam footage inside the school and this image of the shoes that the shooter was wearing. And they say, oh, hey, look how similar these shoes are. These are Pumas. And then in the image from the officer's body cam footage, we see this image of the shoes where they are very clearly these flame old school shoes from Vans. Specifically, you can see how disingenuous this is right away in the fact that they chose a picture of the Puma shoe with black laces. Because when the laces are the same color as the shoe, you can't really tell that the laces come down all the way to the toe almost. They stop right here. Uh, to illustrate this point, we go to a picture of this shoe with white laces, and you can see how the laces come all the way down here, much further down the shoe than the actual stripe does on the Puma shoe. Why is that a problem? Well, when you go to the footage of the shooter and look at the shoes that they are trying to say are Pumas, you can see how the white laces stop right where the streak begins. Just from that right there, you know that these aren't actually Puma shoes. Because if the white laces were in here, you'd be able to see the laces down here towards the toe further than the Puma stripe, which stops up near the label on the shoe. And if you look closely down here, you can even see this black stripe in between what looks like is all white here. And that's this black... Let me move this picture real quick. That's this black space in between the flames. You see that right there? You see the black space coming down there? And then the flame is coming around it. And this is even more clear when you go to a different vantage point. Those of you who've been following my videos for a long time will see the familiar tactic of deception at work here that I've gone into in the past, where you cherry pick an image that gives you the disinformation angle you want to promote, and you ignore all the rest of it that debunks it. <laughs> you don't even point that out. Uh, because when you go to this view, where you can get a really clear 
picture of what the stripe looks like, you can see the hill in the stripe. The same hill that's in this stripe. And if it was a puma stripe, it would be much thicker going towards the heel. And there wouldn't be a hill. It's just a nice, smooth progression to the tail of the shoe or the heel. So obviously, it's not a Puma shoe, and this is intentional disinformation that was spread all over the internet in the immediate aftermath of this shooting. It is true that when you look at the footage here, if we go with the assumption that he's wearing these shoes, you can't see the yellow and the red very well. It's just coming off as white. And if there is an explanation in a simple way that says, okay, well, whatever camera system they were working with wasn't picking this up all the way down here on the floor for whatever reason. At the same time, it was picking up the red hat that the shooter was wearing. Again, I'm not a technical expert. I don't know how all of that is operating. All I can say is that this is clearly the same stripe that's on these van shoes, and you can clearly see this black space here under the stripe in between this flame and that part. And when you go to other images that shows the top of the shoe, you can really see that going on. It's just looking like it's white for whatever reason. I don't know. But you can see how that's a perfect way to promote disinformation where there's something not clear or not making perfect logical sense immediately. It needs some type of further explanation. And that's a perfect way to insert disinformation into some kind of narrative. If I had the skills to analyze this, I would go to the footage where he's on this floor and really try to um, zoom in and get a clear picture of the shoes because they show him here. And I'm just realizing as I'm doing this that I'm actually analyzing the shoes of this alleged shooter falling right into the trap that has been laid out for me. But I think it was worth it to point out a really clear example of intentional disinformation. You always have to be on the lookout for this whenever something happens. And really look into things before you just initially uh, believe them. That's what this is supposed to be. If the truth movement is anything, that's what it's supposed to be. Independent research, the key word being research. <laughs> you know, you, you can't get into this echo chamber of beliefs where you know everything about everything and you just let that be confirmed by someone who's targeting that belief system. So this is a perfect example of what I went into in this video intentional pre-calculated disinformation. It's obvious that someone had malice aforethought and said, oh, hey, this is looking really different than the shoes look when you're up close to them in a different lighting. Let's say they're Pumas and spread this meme on the internet and get people to make fools of themselves. Eventually, we'll debunk this in some way and make them all look very silly, and we'll have another example of how dangerous the internet is, how dangerous social media is, how dangerous all these conspiracy theorists are. Look at what they're doing. People died, and this is what they're doing in the wake of those deaths, trying to spread false information. I know a lot of you guys are new to this. Don't worry if you fall for stuff like this at first. I did too. Uh, you just got to be aware of it and pay attention to it as best you can and don't fall for it anymore. Okay, that's it. Later.